Oh, hey, that looks really bad. No, just me. I'm trying to figure out how. Hello. <laughs> Roxas, is that how you say your name? I appreciate that video you made about me. I put it on my playlist. Let me get, ah, my house is so dirty. It looks like depression. But at least it's in landscape. Yeah. Probably should have figured this out before I started. Whatever. I have to look good. They like me for my personality season. <laughs> Is she pretty? She has a great personality. You can see the alcohol in the background. That is unopened. I'll clean up, Daniel. Don't worry. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's here. Now it's a party. I'm going to say that every time Jeffrey comes. I'm going to embarrass Jeffrey. Yeah, sorry about my ratchet house, guys. Let me fix this. It's the end of the day. Okay, I can look bad. I'll clean tomorrow. Okay. Poor Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey Jeffrey is an OG. Jeffrey is like a veteran of this channel. Jeffrey is the reason why I keep making videos. <laughs> Ooh, my Tinder is going off. Roxas, did I say your name right? Because I want to make sure I said your name right. Because, like, I've grown up with people calling me Maya and stuff. Hey, Mr. Biggs. To be honest, I just wanted to make a video. But I didn't feel like making a video. So I was just good. Because I didn't really have as much to say as I would in a video. But I still wanted to talk about something. Roxas. Okay, I got your name right. Good. Update. Yeah, I, that's what I want to do. Give an update on my situation. And I, the title of this is It's Friday Night and I'm Irrational. It's because I wanted to talk about being irrational. Danielle, that's what I wanted to talk about. How irrational I am. Is that better? Glad to still be able to chat with you, says Mr. Biggs. Oh, is it still frozen, guys? It's not frozen anymore? Okay. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about being irrational. Hi, Taras. Is that how you say your name? Lots of unique names on here. I don't want to mispronounce anyone's name. Cause I know what it's like when somebody mispronounces your name and then you're like, no, it's okay. But like deep down, it's like, you didn't say my name. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Biggs. It's not like that anymore. Yeah, I wanted to talk about being irrational. Um, could you turn down that background music a little? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like it's, it's kind of catchy though. Okay, so. I wanted to talk about being irrational. I, you're pretty, even if you're chunky, trust me, LOL, love you. Michelle, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> but that's what I needed to bring me back down. Cause um, a few, thank you, Michelle. Um, a few minutes ago, like the people upstairs, so my stepmom and her friends were talking about me. I just came in to say hi and I could hear them talking about me and they were like, Oh, she's gotten skinny and stuff. And that went to my head. So for you guys to be like, no, it's okay. Even if you're chunky, we still love you. First of all, damn. Second of all, thank you. But I want, yeah, sorry. I want to talk about being 
irrational. Because I can be a very irrational person. I try to be um, rational. But like I said in that video, I have like a split mind. I have this mind that's like irrational and thinks with, with its emotions. And then one that is like normal and it thinks like a sane person. So it's like a battle between them. Sometimes the irrational mind wins and other times the rational mind wins. But uh, I need to give you some examples of me being irrational. Um, okay, like being anorexic, I have an irrational fear of gaining weight. Like, that, like that's kind of the hallmark of being anorexic. And I do, I see myself as overweight. But that's not rational. Rationally, I can say, well, okay, technically my BMI is such and such. It's in, within a healthy range. So technically, I, I can't be overweight. You know, you might not like the way you look, but you're not overweight. You can't be. Medically, you can't be. But my irrational mind is like, uh, nope, you're fat, like, whatever. And it's like a back and forth between that. Like, I've really been dealing with that because I'm trying to get help for it now and get into therapy and one mind is like saying don't do it but another mind is saying do it I don't know I've just done really irrational things um see, I was gonna make this video so I wrote stuff down for my talking points let's see oh yeah um oh yeah that's true that's the big one um, I was getting help, you guys know. Oh, I know this song. Is this the one? I think this is one of them. Okay. What was I saying? Oh. Thank you, Liz. Sweet. Love your hair, by the way. Thank you, Jeffrey. Oh yeah, but I was saying um, another irrational thing I did, because, okay, rational. Rational is essentially like, what's best for you? Sometimes I do things that aren't in my best interest. So I was in a day program. How can a girl have mental issues if she can get any guy's attention? Is that a, a question, what? I have mental issues, but I, that's not gonna, what I look like and my brain are, aren't like intertwined, but your skin is glowing. Yeah, thank you, Jessica. It's just, I have my ring light on. It was sent, it was sent to me in PR, but it was though. <laughs> and I just put the blue filter on it because I saw this. Oh, thank you, Elliot. She says, you're awesome. You're awesome, Elliot. <laughs> you know the way to my heart. <laughs> but, um. No, I just, I saw this movie where they used like a blue filter on the skin because like the people were dark skin like me and they said it made their skin glow. Was it so, moonlight? Moonlight, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I'm gonna do that. I have a blue filter. So I decided to do that. And they were right. <laughs> you should do that Natasha Pierre and the great right comment of 1812. I haven't seen that one. You should. But uh, yeah, talk about being irrational. Sorry, I'm trying to stay on point here. I was supposed to go out but the person I was going to go out with canceled at the last minute. And I drank a little, so it's it's hard to concentrate. Let me think. Oh, yeah. I was getting help. Elliot, there's a new YouTube... There's a new schizophrenia YouTuber who's going viral on YouTube. My, He looks like Jacob. If he looks like Jacob, then I like it. You're a smurf? Okay. Le strumpf. So you say smurfs in French. Le strumpf. I was getting help and I was in a day program and I was seeing a psychiatrist and I your page for three years. What city are you in? Well, Monique, that's my mom's name. Rest in peace. Uh, I'm in DC, suburban DC. Like, I feel like you are so pretty. That's why I'm asking how can you have mental issues? Uh, mental illness, Mart. Mental illness doesn't care how pretty you are. Like, I don't. I don't, like, I don't consider myself super pretty, but, like, even if I was, even if I look like Jennifer Lopez and Rihanna or whatever, mental illness really doesn't care. It'll get you. 
But ah, uh, I'm, I'm going off topic. That's okay. We have all night. I was getting help. I was with a therapist. I was with a psychiatrist. And what they wanted was for me to stop drinking, stop having a lot of sex with random people that I don't really know, and eat more. And they wanted me off of the medication that, although it helped me, and it did, um, they are stimulants and stuff like that, so they can cause you to like lose your appetite, like dieting, which I kind of did, you know, but it, it also helped, that's why I, they said, we're not gonna give you that medication. We're gonna give you a medication that works just as well, but isn't, it won't make you like lose your appetite. And I got so pissed at that. I was like, you're gonna take me off all this medication that was helping me stay skinny. It's like, screw that. It was like, oh, so you just want me to binge? Because I was having problems with like binging and then purging. And I was like, if you take me off that, I'm, I'm gonna binge. And they were like, we're not gonna put you on it. We're not. And I was like, well, then I'm leaving. I don't want anything to do with you guys. And I had been going there every day and getting the therapy because in the day program, it's like intensive therapy. Like that's all we do all day. Like we have groups in the morning, then we have another group midday, then we have more groups in the afternoon. We simply, I was spending every single day in a hospital going to therapy and uh, with a psychiatrist. But I was like, well, they're not gonna let me you know, like I knew they diagnosed me with an eating disorder. So I know I have an eating disorder. And my rational mind is like, well, then they're looking out for you. They want to get you medicine that isn't going to make you like decision. Like, well, screw that. I'll just find a doctor um, and not tell them I have an eating disorder. And I don't really need, so then they can prescribe me the medication I want. And I'm just gonna leave. And they were like, I can't in good conscience give you that medication, so you're, you're either gonna have to deal with it or leave. And I was like, well, then I'm leaving. And I dropped out of the day program and the psychiatrist, like all of that, I dropped out of it because they weren't, they weren't going to uh, fuel my eating disorder. And my eating disorder mind was really pissed about that. And I, st like, I still am. It was a good day program and I was getting help. But then there's my irrational mind that's like, nope, you don't need them. Like, I can't be with, like, ugh, oh, it's crazy. It's so, it's tough because this is an irrational mind. So it's not like you can reason with it. It It's like going based off of your emotions, making decisions based off your emotions. Going to, psych, to a psychiatrist for counseling is like going to a Lego for house building. What? What does that mean? It sucks to feel like you have missed out on one year of your life because of depression. I've li missed out on many a year. It's really bad. I didn't even get to like fool around and I mean, like at least I had a job in the, in the other years. So wait, what's your full diagnosis says Lady Sweet? Oh, it's all that stuff. It's just schizoaffective, which is essentially schizophrenia and bipolar and then ADHD and um, anorexia and PTSD. What medication do you take to stay skinny? Monet, is it Monet? Says it was um, Wellbutrin, which the my, like, my new doctor, cause I'm not about to tell them all my like eating problems, put me back on cause I said that's what I wanted. And um, Wellbutrin and Vyvanse. Vyvanse is good cause it helps with binge eating, which I do have a problem with. I have a problem with binge eating and that's like an easy way to gain weight. And um, well, butrin is an anoretic. So it, it, it literally induces anorexia, not anorexia nervosa, but actually um, anorexia, like loss of appetite, like the medical term anorexia, that's what anorexia means. Oh, Christopher, you have schizoaffective as well. Well, take solidarity in numbers because schizoaffective sucks. Well, Butrin gave me panic attacks, but it works so well for so many people. It works for me too. Like it, yeah, it fuels my eating disorder, but it, it takes away my depression. Daniel says, love the Vyvanse. Me too. I feel so bad without it. I have an appointment on the 14th though. Lady Sweet, I have schizoaffective disorder. That is it. And overeating. I have problems with overeating. 
Do you still take glucose tablets? I got some because you use it hugs. Well, I got some because, um, what's his name? Charles Gross, I think that's his name. He said he used them. And I actually, I think, yeah, I had one this morning because I felt like I got up and I felt lightheaded, which I was, I'm used to. That's what I used to be like all the time when I was skinny. And I was like, oh, great. If you take a good amount of meds and take it right, what? Ones that love you, trust me, I have schizo effective. Well, yeah, I'll take that advice. I always stick with my family. They help me through everything. My son went to the hospital for the first time since his diagnosis, and he gained at least 20 pounds in three weeks. Is that normal for a hospital visit or is it the meds? It's probably the meds. Oh my God, I'm so, Maisha? Your name is Maisha? It sounds like Maisha, like in Swahili. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um. No, I mean, in the hospital, it's easy to gain weight. Like, hospital food isn't very good, which is ironic because it's in a hospital, but it's not healthy. And um, meds, if he's taking um, antipsychotics, Maisha, then they might be causing him to gain weight. Because I've taken antipsychotics. They they make you gain weight. Jeffrey says, please be careful while you're drinking, Maya. I worry about you when you drink hung hugs. Oh, well, yeah, I'm trying to be careful with my drinking. I'm not drinking like a shit ton. I'm not trying to get shit faced. I'm just trying to like drink because I was going to meet up with a friend, but he canceled on me at the last moment and it kind of made me upset. So I was just like, well, and the evening my lures, I, I guess. I'm taking Latuda and it doesn't make me hungry. I've taken Latuda. I don't know if it really did that much for me because I don't take it anymore. You should worry about being too skinny if your period stops, says Daniel. Well, my period stopped, but I, it might just, it might be my eating, but it might also just be my birth control. Well, Butrin and Vivance, thank you. I'm on a bill of five, but I gain weight from it. Well, Monet, it didn't cause me to gain weight. It caused me to have these jerky muscle movements, which if you keep taking it, and you get those jerky muscle movements, it becomes permanent and you look like a crazy person because you have a tick where it's like, it caused me to like, ugh, my muscles like that. So I told my doctor about it and they took me off it really quickly. I love you, don't worry, you'll be okay. Thank you, Louise. Or Louie? How is Eddie Amani, <laughs> honestly? He's okay. I mean, he, looks, he looked kind of weird when he came in today, but like overall in terms of his... We had a, like a heart to heart. He was really wasted, but like, he, we were talking about how this isn't fun anymore. Like what started as when we were fun, we used to, to like use, and it was, it was fun. We did it cause it was fun and it felt good. It doesn't anymore. Like it's like, we're miserable, <laughs> we're miserable. And it's like, this isn't what it used to be. It started, it started out as fun and now, you know, you're in AA and I'm in therapy and stuff. And it's like, well, maybe we should stop. My new doctor is considering not diagnosing me with schizoaffective anymore because he thinks it's PTSD, psychotic features, but I won't be able to be on disability if my diagnosis changes. Oh no. Maybe you should tell your, your new doctor that. Ask if he can vouch for you to have that and say like, well, technically she might have schizoaffective. She shows the symptoms of schizoaffective and explain to him your problem with disability and, and then have the other diagnosis on top of that. I'm gaining weight on Zyprexa. Me too. I was gaining weight on Zyprexa. That's olanzapine, right? And it, <sighs> transitory, what? Transitory 23, yeah. Olanzapine. I googled it because I was like curious and they, they, it says it treats anorexia and treats anorexia is code for makes you fat. So I just went off it and I kind of went kind of crazy and my psychiatrist got mad at me, but yeah, I was gaining weight on it. Who was on prolactin, Maisha Evans? Have you seen the movie Bone? It scared the hell out of me to see that girl too skinny, like her spine was showing and ribs. I don't understand how that happened to the bone or whatever. Like I've watched a lot of movies about anorexia and stuff. Like I like watching them. 
and um, I mean, she was skinny, but she was like skinny like how I used to be when when this channel started in the the golden years. Well, I feel like it's been it's years is in like two years. Please take your camera down. Is that better? That was a good movie. Yeah, I liked it. I liked the girl who was in it. Have you watched Joker? Is that a show or a movie? It's a movie. It's a movie. This is in my head. Even though they are there. This morning, when you were at school, they were playing, uh, do you remember the time? You know that song? Yeah, it was like that. It's so weird. I have a radio in my head, like built in my head, and I can't put it into words. It's not like thinking of a song. It's like hearing a song playing, but it's coming from the ceiling. But it's so accurate, and my brain is so self-aware. It's like, I know that that's me creating that sound, but it sounds crystal clear like I was playing it on like YouTube or something. What kind of lipstick do you like, says Lady Sweet? Oh, Fenty. Fenty is my favorite. That's what I'm wearing right now. But yeah, my look. Is it better? It looked like it was choppy for a second. No, but um, you're asking what kind of voices am I hearing? I'm hearing different kinds of voices. There's different kinds of hallucinations. There are hallucinations that sound like people in my life. Like, it's usually just my mother. Um, hallucinations that sound like the vibrance, which is the, just the vibrance, you guys know them. And then music. For some reason, music plays. I feel like I have a radio in my head too. I notice it comes back when I start feeling more stable after a depressive episode. Huh, I never really thought about it. Maybe. I have been pretty depressed lately. I was meaning to ask you, do you have a Twitter? Uh, I had one when I was like a little kid. I don't have one anymore. I've since deleted it. I don't use social media that much, which is ironic because like, do for a job. I'm a pharmacist with an interest in psych. Hope to get board certified. I would love to do a video about meds and help bring awareness. Well then do it, Nick, do it and I'll watch it. I'll favorite it and I'll share it. I can see you being a Mac girl. Your makeup is so beautiful always. Oh, thank you. I remember when that was a big thing back in like Jaclyn Hill. Well, she's still, yeah, she's still popular, but like, Back when Mac was like one of the only choices you had. Makeup geek days. Also makeup geek is still around. So I don't mean it like that. How have you been losing weight by the way? I'm in the process of trying. What is it back? You're asking how I was losing weight? I've been eating less. I was gonna say, for example, at this time, what time is it, Sisa? It's 6.31. It's 6.30, so I would have been having dinner right now. I'm having nothing. And uh, the calories that I would have had, you just subtract that. Although, I do count like the alcohol and stuff. I don't drink too much because there's lots of calories in alcohol. But yeah. I don't know, I guess cutting out a meal. So instead of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just have breakfast and lunch. Eating less. I wanna also start going back to the gym. Like they still, I still have to pay for it. So I might as well go back. I, I went, I did, wasn't going back for a while before it gets too cold. And then imagine, I would bur I usually burn like 500 calories at the gym, which is a lot when you're, when you don't weigh too much. Do you have any plans for Saturday and Sunday? I uh, see. Yeah, I, I like, I want to get laid. I haven't in days and yeah, I'll have to find somebody. I'll just go back on Tinder. You're a wonderful girl. I'm schizophrenic myself. Take a good care of your health and find a hobby. I used to have hobbies. Here's the thing. I'm so depressed and like messed up that all the things that brought me joy aren't bringing me joy anymore. And I said that um in my last video. Um, like I used to like play guitar or write poetry or, you know, do sports. Like all of that stuff, it seems like a chore. 
And if it seems like a chore, I'm not gonna wanna do it. Like I can do it, but it's not gonna be like a hobby or fun. So I'm trying to figure out how to treat that first. Hi, my I'm having problems with seeing shadow people. They climb on everything. Well, Brenda, I've had problems with the shadow people before. And the only thing that helped was going to my doctor and telling them about it. That was like one of the first times I was hospitalized, but still. It will come back. Yeah, I hope so. Um, because life used to be more fun. Like now I'll, I think of things that would be really fun and it's like, no, it's not going to make me happy. It's not. Yeah, the last time I had like lots of fun was in my uh, Six Flags vlog. That one was so sloppy. I don't know why <laughs> I uploaded it. But I did have a lot of fun. That was the last time I remember having fun. Other than that, I've been very depressed. Is hooking up fun? Nothing is fun, Taras. Was that you say? Taras? Nothing is fun, but it used to be fun. So I'm, I'm just going to keep doing it and hope that it even though it's really dulled, it's as close as I can get to feeling good. Be careful with Tinder, cause that's a danger in disguise. What do you mean? I like Tinder. I met I met Brady on Tinder. Yeah, he's the love of my life. So you sleep around? That's an understatement. I made fun of a chunky person before and felt like they ma they made me take meds because i did a bad thing lol but i'm paranoid just don't be mean i used to feel so depressed well i've had experience with paranoia depression and feeling chunky myself i don't i drink because of my anxiety and the doctor i have wouldn't prescribe anything except for trazodone trazodone that takes me back that takes me back to when I was like 17. I also drink because of my anxiety. I don't drink because it tastes good. It tastes like crap. I drink <laughs> I drink because I get anxious. And I'm not on um what's it called? Ativan. I was on Xanax and then I was on Ativan. Now I'm on nothing. But the anxiety is still there. I need to I can't have nothing. Hello, how are you from Turkish, please, less, less chest cleavage, hungry, want to imagine you and relax. You, you say less cleavage to see, like, or more. You use protection during sex, right, Maya? I'm worried for your health. I need, I'm gonna start doing that more. Don't know if this is your thing, but you should check out D Wayne Dyer and Eckhart Tolle videos. I believe they can help you break to your depression. It's good to listen to. I think I have Eckhart Tolle. I think I'm already with Eckhart Tolle, but I don't know about Wayne Dyer. Please take your camera down. What does that mean? What do you want me to do with the camera? It's just my phone, by the way. Trazodone does nothing for me. Well, it gives me headaches. That's why I don't take it. Try to talk to your doctor. I did and I feel so much better. Yeah, I am. Traz I mean, Trazodone doesn't work for me, Rachel. Why don't you check routines with body weight instead of paying the gym. What do you mean routines with body weight? Also, I do want to get out of the gym membership, but I think they, it's one of those things where they kind of get you stuck in one. Like they get you to sign up, but you have to do like a year with them before you can uh, terminate the contract or something. Do you like to paint? Alexander, yeah, I, I used to. I don't like to do anything right now. That's the point. I don't even, even YouTube videos. You guys are awesome and I love you. But even now, I don't get that enjoyment I got. But with painting, yeah, it was something I enjoyed. But I stopped doing because I don't enjoy anything right now. I like your hair. Thank you, Rachel. You're so blunt and open about your feelings and thoughts. Have you always been this way? If not, what did you do to get there? Um, 
Gosh, what? Um, I get that comment a lot. I think I read this like science fiction book and there was this character who was so blunt and honest and just raw and real and I was like, not in love with her because she was just a character in a science fiction Asimov magazine. Yeah, ma Asimov magazine, but I was like, that's what I want to be like. That's what I want to be like in my life, little, little kid me. And I was like, I just, that's what I do now. So yeah, read science fiction. That'll help you. <laughs> Roxas, do you talk to Jason, Jacob regularly? Oh, I should probably text him because I changed my number. Let's be like, hey, it's Maya. I changed my number. Yeah, and Anhedonia. Yeah, but I love Jacob, but he's in Ohio, but I still love him anyway. <laughs> Hello, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Liam. I'm not, but like, thanks. What book? Oh, it was a magazine, Asimov magazine. It's like a bunch of books. Like in one book. Yeah, it's like a bunch of books in one paperback book. And then that's the magazine. It's more of a paperback book than a magazine. What meds are you taking? So I'm not on any meds really i was put on i went to a crisis center um the other day and i got medicine for a few days but it's about to run out tomorrow and then i just i have an appointment on the 14th and hopefully then i'll be able to get all my medication how is my brother doing he's doing better can you please take your camera down what do you mean harry okay what's your instagram i want to follow Eddie's Instagram? I don't know. Do you know if Eddie has an Instagram? He does. He does? Do you know what it is? Um, one second. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. You can get quite fit without using weights or machines and those things. It's called calisthenia. Calisthenia? Exercising a lot. For hours. Three times a week. And I ate like McDonald's, so it was, it was, I was exercising a lot. Oh, sorry, you're not doing well, love you. Hope you're better soon. Yeah, Liam, I hope I'm better soon. I wanna make more videos about me being better. Like my dad was like, I saw your channel and it's like, all you do is talk about all the bad things. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I complain on the internet for a living. He's like, yeah, but it'd be so much better if you came with like a story of redemption and like, I'm feeling better. And I'd be like, well, maybe if I felt better, I'd make a video about it. Depression meds made me think very strange and different than I would normally. Yeah, depression meds, well, depression meds didn't make me think that uh, weird. Going off my depression meds became really homicidal. And I wanted to kill people, particularly child molesters and pedophiles. Not just regular people, like, not nothing like that I'm not on any means right now i have an appointment on the 15th which is very nice i have a therapy appointment monet on the 15th so yeah we're getting help together you can't be without meds you will become bad yeah michelle that's an understatement but there's nothing else i can do i already went to the crisis center and they gave me enough for a week do you see a counselor weekly it helps me a lot i am better than I was last year. That's what I want to do. I was seeing a therapist every week, but um, I'm gonna start doing that again. What's your dinner for tonight? Anything yummy? I'm taking a deep breath. That's what I'm having for dinner. You still on Vivance? I wish. Hitler was not a based god. <laughs> That's your name? <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, I guess. Do you meditate? Oh my god, you sound like Brady. I mean... I tried to. My mom also. So, she was really into meditation. But, but it's really hard to meditate when you hear voices. Like, I don't, I don't like to be in quiet. That's why I put a little background music. People with no mental illness. Well, you know, people just try to help with what they've, they're just, what's it like? 
living in D.C. Um, it used to be cool. Like, I used to always brag back when Obama was president, but now it's not really that great. I stopped taking my meds. It makes me feel empty, says Sugar Candy. We have to be careful when you stop taking your meds. It can affect your behavior and your health. Do you think you should take meds if you have severe depression? Absolutely, because if you don't take your meds, you could die. You could, like that's on you and me being dramatic. Severe depression can kill you because you start thinking that you're a burden and and all the other stuff I think, and it makes you suicidal. So to get rid of those thoughts is really helpful. You're too sweet to kill even those kinds of people. I have a burning hatred, like that's that's the one thing. I have a hatred and disgust in any kind of child molester. Those are the only kind of people I would kill. I could never kill somebody else, even if they did something wrong. But child molesters, I hate them so much, Liam. <sighs> yeah, I'd kill him. I'd kill him and face the consequences. Watch me kill somebody and then play this live stream back in court. And be like, see, she knows what she's doing. She's not insane. Watch them mention me saying that. <laughs> and saying she's not insane. She talked about being insane. What's wrong? What's the worst thing that has happened with borderline personality disorder? What's the worst thing BPD does? Um, BPD. <sighs> the mood swings. It's, it's caused me to end relationships. Relationships that were good. One relationship I had that was with a guy named Peter. He was a really good guy. And he treated me so well. He treated me like he was the first person I was ever in love with. But I don't know. Going back to being irrational, I was like, uh, no, you should treat him badly. You Like, I loved him. And I, like, I loved him. But I was like, no, you should treat him badly. You should, you should mess up this relationship. You should, you know, you, that's what you should do. So I did. And now the, it got all messed up. And like, he was the first person to really be there for me. And I really pushed him away because I low-key think it's because I don't, I don't feel like I deserve to be treated well. I don't deserve love and all that stuff in terms of my like self-esteem you can vouch for me because i have really low self-esteem and self-worth so when somebody treats me badly it's like you need to cut this person off you need to get this person out of your life they're they're too good for you like you don't deserve to be treated well you deserve to be treated badly and that's what i did with him and that's another irrational thing that i did who is behind the camera Terrace? there's nobody behind the camera I'm just, I'm just, I'm just holding it here with my hand. Self-sabotage. Yes, Rachel, that's what I did. I would self-sabotage. I was about to say, I'd self-sabotage myself. <laughs> no, but I'd self-sabotage. And I wish I didn't because he was such a great guy. He was like, oh my God. He was such a great guy. And I still wish I could talk to him. But I, I messed it up on purpose. I would, like, I would, <laughs> I'd know I was doing bad things, but my irrational mind was like, yeah, keep doing that, keep doing that, keep pushing him away. Now he's all gone, and I hope he finds somebody that makes him really happy. I wish it could be me, but, like, I, as long as he's happy, I'll be fine, because I want what's best for him, because he's such a great guy. BPD sucks. That's an understatement. Yeah, I think having any personality disorder sucks. But I mean, at least BPD. I'd rather be BPD than like what? Antisocial? Like be a psychopath or a sociopath or a narcissist? A narcissist. Even though narcissism is a symptom of BPD. Shout out to all the people who call me a narcissist. Like, hmm. That's just a symptom of my personality disorder. If you don't deserve love, nobody does. Beautiful person inside and out. Thank you, Liam. 
What kind of voices do you hear? Is it your own voice or others interested to know as a new schizo and want to know what they say and in, in what way if you want to answer that? Yeah, I hear lots of voices and they sound like different things. Sometimes they sound like different people in my life, my family. Sometimes they sound like me, usually me whispering for some reason, but it sounds like me, my voice. And um, and then I hear lots of music. So, yeah, it's my own voice whispering and the voices of others. Usually people I, I care about, like Brady, my mom, um, my siblings. And... Um, they usually, it depends on what I'm, I'm usually doing something and I'll, I'll draw a picture, for instance, and they'll be like, it's so ugly. Well, it's more like, it's so ugly, you dumb fuck. That voice, except it's like above my head, like I'm really trying to, I'm trying to explain schizophrenia. It's like, it's coming from the ceiling and like laughing at everything that I do. And it's even like my mother's voice. My mother would never say anything mean to me, but she's saying really mean stuff to me, like, every day through hallucinations and it's just really tough it's really tough sorry that you're schizo but take solidarity in numbers because that's what i have to deal with my bf is a narc i can't leave him because of my low self-worth uh yeah team low self-worth but as like you you deserve better than a narc like you should probably just leave him. You're probably not. Rachel, you're subscribed to my channel, so you're obviously an awesome person. You should probably just dump your boyfriend. He's a narc. He'll find somebody else to, like, drain. Because that's what narcs do. You don't have to submit yourself to that. Even if it's tough dealing with your self-worth and you, you don't... You don't find some somebody immediately at least dump him at least don't have him first time i ever got you live praying for you every day every time i noticed a video from you you've given me a lot of encouragement you look beautiful oh thank you anything it's just knowing me and the delusions I get and the hallucinations I get, I'd kill myself. I, I need to have somebody there, as embarrassing as it is, taking care of me. Um, my brothers are there for me and they would help me and that's what I'm planning on doing, living with like my, my brothers or you, Aziza, living with my sister. But I can't live alone. I can't. For my own safety, I can't. How do you deal with Anadonia? Uh, is it Skyzo or Schizo? Well, I don't know. I'm, this is what I'm doing. I still have it right now, but... Uh, have you ever heard Jacob's voice as a hallucination? No, I have not. I've only... Just regular him. Thank you, Monet. Do you oversleep on antipsychotics? Well, I don't take antipsychotics at all now, but, like, the only problem I've had with them is that making me fat and I've also had a problem with them sometimes giving me jerky movements which can become per they made me feel like whoa like maybe I should go to bed and like zoned out like a zombie I felt like a zombie if that's what you mean Ranveer is that I say it? I hope you get better Alexander oh well thank you yeah I hope I get better too I've had very intense delusions with aliens and mind reading and shit, but it lasted only two months and went away without a trace. Oh, lucky. I still get aliens and mind reading and shit, and I, I had that years ago when this channel started, and I, I still, still do. Do your voices frighten you, Maya? Not as much as they used to. Um, they still, like, make me upset and make me question myself and make me feel some kind of way, but they don't frighten me because they've 
they've been around so long it's kind of like familiar sponsorship guys with cbd gummy is remember and i was taking them and they tasted really good i mean yeah they paid me but they tasted really good if so, what happened? Tac like tactile, and I'd get really itchy, and I'd think there were like spiders or bugs on me, and I'd, I'd just scratch at any something very close to it. You know, I like those uh, you know those before meth and after meth pictures, and they have lots of sores and stuff. <laughs> like I used to like scratch like on my back and all that stuff. So glad I'm past that. All I did was stop doing drugs. Yeah, when I stopped doing drugs, my mental health got a lot better, but it got a lot to deal with stress and anxiety and stuff like that, which I hate. I hate anxiety. But I didn't stop drugs because I'm this really morally sound person. I'm this great person. It, it, I just can't afford it anymore. What? You did drugs? Roxas, are you new? Are you new? I, I've i done everything. I didn't do it because I was trying to be edgy. I did it because I was going through my mental illness and I had a lot of symptoms and I didn't know how to treat them. So I was trying to treat them with psych med. Uh, I was trying to treat them with psych meds, but the psych meds weren't helping and my therapists weren't listening. So I started going out and trying to find... um ways to treat it on my own. So I would try like every single drug, like again and again, and see what it would do for my schizophrenia and my depression. And some of them really helped, Molly really helped. You know, a lot of drugs really helped, but I don't have money for that anymore. Even though I was a higher functioning person in society, I was like functioning in society. I had a job, you know, I was, I had friends. I, I was like a person. I found in my research that so much goes on in the head that it's better to have quiet, but he does the opposite. Any insight as to why you think he does this? As he, I don't think I understand that, that Maisha. I don't really think I understand that. I just wanted to say, I pray you have a wonderful day. Thank you having this YouTube channel. See, that's, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I, I mean, after that, <laughs> it's I wanted people to know that they're not alone. I wanted people to know what I'm going through and know that. And also I like just talking to you and hanging out with you guys and stuff like that. You should apply on Bearcroft TV. They find unique people and share their stories on YouTube. Well, Roxas, you should probably like talk to them and just chat them up and be like, there's this girl named Maya and she wants to be on your thing. Cause that's what they did with Jacob. They just, they went to her and they were like, there's this girl named Maya and she wants to do you. And that's how I got to talk to them. Cause you guys are so awesome. You, <laughs> you help me with those things. Medicine is free in England if you're unemployed. Well, I'm not employed, unless you count YouTube as a job, but even then, I don't upload that often. Have you ever done sh shrooms? And if you have, would you share your experience? Alexander, I have not done shrooms, but I have done acid, and I can tell you it's a lot like just being schizophrenic. Um, there's not really much of a difference, except when I did shroom, uh, acid, Acid. I knew I was taking acid and when I was hallucinating I was like well it's because I'm on acid as opposed to when I'm hallucinating in my life right now where it's like I don't know what's real and what's not and I'm trying to differentiate 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 what's real and what's not but it was it was still fun I don't know if you'd count that you still take, take drugs if you could? Paul, yes, I would. 
but um, not just any drug, not anything crazy like meth or probably wouldn't even do cocaine anymore. Maybe, maybe Molly, because that helped a lot with my symptoms and I was able to work when I was like taking Molly all the time. And maybe weed, maybe. And I still, I mean, I, I drink from time to time, not as much as I did, did um, in my last live stream, like drinking every single day, every day. And when I was sober, I felt really weird. Not like that. Like I'll go without drinking and still feel fine. Do you think depression can become a nurse? but I've been better. <laughs> How do you react to weed and do you like it? I do like it. Um, not if I, oh yeah, schizophrenia is tough. I've come close to dying, I have a great, you know, it's not all me. They they made me go get help even when I didn't want to because I was like trapped in my world. And I was like, no, I'm speaking to aliens. This is what I'm doing. This is my life now. And they're like, no. And they had me hospitalized and stuff. Like, I'm, I am have a great support system. I contacted Barracroft for you. Good for you, Roxas. Can mental illness sometimes become a crutch for some people to make that the first step is to do better? I mean... I hope it's not a crutch for me. I'm really dealing with a lot, but you know, you see people like, look at Demi Lovato or um, who else? Is it Catherine Zeta Jones or? Um, Pete what? Bipolar. Yeah. Kanye West. Oh, the guy. Um, John Claude Van Damme. Oh. All those people, they're like, they're bipolar too. And they, they have, very successful lives and they don't use it as a crutch and I see them and I'm very jealous because I'm not successful in my life. Yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme has bipolar disorder. <laughs> He's still, you know. Jacob was on CBD, oh, CBC News and CBS News, right? I'm gonna get you on Barcroft. He was on the news. That's when he was on the news. I remember I was watching it on my dad's laptop and being like, okay, he's on the news now. I need to talk to him. I need to make a channel. After he went on the news, that was that was what that was the catalyst of me deciding, oh, you know what? I'm gonna make a channel. I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and he's gonna notice me. It was it was he was on the news. I get night terrors of the world ending and Satan is usually always across the scene looking at me. I haven't been getting them anymore that bad because I'm back on Seroquel. Seroquel, Seroquel. Seroquel makes you eat. But I'm glad that you're not having those. Um, and I'll... I hope you stay online at least another one to two hours. Don't go soon, haha. <laughs> uh, how about one hour? I can do another hour, cause it's been a, it's been an hour already. What? Gee, you think I'm a? Uh... Wait, <laughs> hey, wait till I have my glow up. Any day now. I'm sorry to think this glow up isn't coming. <laughs> it's like, don't worry. It should be here any minute now. I like your voice and your accent. Well, Robin Hood, I didn't really think I had a, a an accent, but I mean, if you love standard American English, I'm your girl. Girl, I don't have a Maryland accent. I moved to Maryland when I was like a teenager. I'm from New England. You have I have a DC accent. Well, that's great because I'm not from DC. 
I mean, you sound bougie? right? Do I sound bougie? <laughs> you know, losing DC Donald Trump. No, like, you're not from here. <laughs> no well, neither am I. <laughs> oh, that's like, where is Donald Trump from? Trumpsville? <laughs> the thing is, is gone. Because we're underground. You can try going up on the stairs or something. Can't help. There's no light there. Here. No Is it better? It looks like it's better now. Yeah. Somebody asked if I'm afraid of STDs. I am. That's why I need to start asking all my partners to use protection. That's what I've been meaning to do. I just didn't want to be like rude, but like I hear how pathetic that sounds. It's like, no. My rational mind is like, no, you need to do that for your health. But then there's irrational me, huh? The back, back of what we started with. Hello, Maya. This may seem out of nowhere, but I was wondering, do you see trans women as women? Have you ever knowingly known any? Yeah, I've been with trans women. I've had sex with trans women. I see them as women. It was really great too. Yeah, definitely. That's what you identify as and that's what you are. Yeah, I need to eat though, LOL, and start going to the gym. I'm too skinny and my body is aching. I have trouble with binging and purging too. Oh, Michelle, I'm sorry you go through problems with binging and purging too. I haven't purged in a while and I'm actually really proud of myself because there have been times where I ate and I was really anxious and I was like, I need to purge, I need to purge, I need to purge, and I didn't. But I hope that maybe, like, you'll get there sometime and if you feel like you need to eat, then eat, you know. Is it back, you guys? You're strong and beautiful on the inside, Maya. I have faith in you. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, I am a little hard on myself, but that's only because I know that I may be capable of doing really, really great, and I'm not. I asked, have you only had good experiences on Tinder? Um, yeah, Roxas, I've had great experiences on Tinder. All my friends, I meet, I meet them on Tinder. That's where I meet people. Do you think you might have a bite to eat after the stream, Maya? Says Jeffrey. I mean, I don't want to, but I'd be willing to do it for you, Jeffrey. I'd have like, I could have like a snack because you're an OG and I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, we do have a bunch of food. How to deal with Anadonia? I don't, I don't know. I just, I was going to therapy. I'm just getting back on the McDoll after a week off. So I'm dealing with the side effects and I don't like having my high taken away by it. Oh man. Well, at least you didn't get like that rash that they, that it can give you. I've been on the McDoll, but I only got on it cause that's what our girl Amberlynn Reed was on. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I should try that. She's like an influencer. You should leave your family and live with someone. Your life will become better. My family is there for me. There's, It can't get more supportive than my family. Like, obviously, I'm going to move out eventually. I can't live here forever. But it's not going to get more supportive. And it's, it's not going to get better. I'm just going to have to be independent. As independent as I can be. I could do better too. I stare at schizophrenia chat all day and drink. Hey man, just know that you're not alone. I mean, I look up stuff and I read lots of forums about people who are going through what I'm going through. Jeffrey says, Maya, you are so damn sweet. Oh, thank you. I love your videos and can relate to it a lot. I'm schizoaffective. I'm very sorry. Because whenever somebody says, I relate to you a lot, I feel really bad because I'm like, oh, you're going through it too. Like, it's nice to know that there are other people going through what I'm going through, but it's like, that means you're going through what I'm going through and I feel really bad for you. Is YouTube therapy for you, kind of? Kind of, Marie. It's kind of therapy. It's not the same as therapy. Um, I said it was therapeutic, like when I was first starting, but I hadn't been in therapy yet. It doesn't feel like therapy, 
but it, it feels cathartic or is that how you say it? Cathartic, right? Yeah, that's yeah, to get what I'm feeling off my chest. And that's why I continue to make videos even after Jacob noticed me because I, I really liked it. Family is everything, says Lucy. Yes, family is everything. Some people aren't as lucky as I am to have a family that cares about them and is there for them. So I really, I take advantage of that. Do some genres of music make you more unstable? Sorry if I asked that earlier, but I'm curious. Um, I mean, I guess when I get really into a song, I can be like really into it. I don't know, new romantic <laughs> music. But um, I, I don't know if it'd make me unstable. Some, some music just makes me um, more stimulated than other music. A lot of modern music, as good as it is, doesn't really stimulate me and get me really excited the same way that like certain songs like by David Bowie, Duran Duran and stuff like that get me. Hey Maya, if you had a chance to be normal, where do you think you would be right now in your life? Where do you, would you be at this moment? I hope I'd be really successful with a great job. I'd be done with college, you know, I'd be done with all that stuff. I'd be just getting back from work, a real job, not being a YouTuber and be happy and not miserable. Try not to think about that so much. My social worker says I shouldn't where I'd be. Amphetamines have helped me a lot with negative symptoms of schizotype bell disorder. It's too bad that your anorexia makes them unattainable for you. Would mofenadil, mofenil be an option? I've never heard of modafinil. Modafinil? I've, I've never heard of that. Miss Optical. Amphetamines. I, there's Vyvanse. It's almost like an amphetamine. Anyways, you are really hot. I would love to date a girl looking like you. Good luck in my case. Living alone helped me. Yeah, I don't know if I've lived alone completely because I don't think that's safe for me. But, you know, maybe not being... Uh, just in my, in my family's house. Like, maybe I just, I need some... independence like I, I just don't want to be like burden that's like a big deal for me hey my started antipsychotics two weeks ago and i'm starting lithium today hey i'm on lithium that's one of the few medicines they gave me at the crisis center I'm taking 300 thrice daily until it runs out but hopefully i'll have more even though lithium is like for mania right i, I i'm not manic you know, I'm more depressed than everything. You should go on live me. Girls, just go on the app and do nothing and make a lot of money. Well, John, I'd love to make a lot of money doing nothing. Tell me more. Lithium made you bipolar, Roxas? How does that... Is it like after you started taking mood stabilizers, that's when you started getting mania? Because that I can relate to. I didn't start getting a uh, mania until I was on medicine for mania they put me on and I started getting it and now I just get it and now I'm stuck with it and I'm sick and I don't take that medicine anymore <laughs> but I'm still stuck with it and I'm gonna be sick with it forever so that's great you're taking 300 twice daily so you're close to me Jasmine that was you Roxas you look like you listen to emo stuff. <laughs> well, you know, if Fallout Boy is emo, you know, that's what I grew up on. I like emo stuff. I mean, I listen to like new stuff too, but when emo was a thing, I self emo. But looking back at my Gaia online posts, I was pretty. The Roxas wants to know what's your favorite anime? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <laughs> I can't stop biting my nails. I'm going to paint them black. Oh, do that. That's what I used to do all the time because I thought I could be in like Green Day or something. Oh, like that one song, Vitamin Stone. I want to paint it black. 
Paint it black. Write your nails. Paint it. Paint it black. Yeah. Your mind is legit art. Keep dreaming about the future. Yeah. Can't look at the past because the, the past is like cruddy. What med gave you mania? Was it Limictol? Not Limictol. Limictol was new. I can't remember exactly what it was. I just know it was a mood stabilizer. Aziza, Roxas says good anime, Aziza. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Yeah, I know. It's the best one. <laughs> she says it's the best one. Oh, definitely. It's a stimulant. I mean, genic that is much milder than amphetamine. It's a dopamine take inhibitor and works with other complex ways to help me with elogia and anadonia. Well, that's good. I mean, I can modafinil. I'll... I'll actually put that in my mind and like try to remember that and look that up and see if I can bring that up in my uh on my, at my next appointment with a, a psychiatrist. Do I have any pets in the family? Nope, but I have a little brother. Same, a mood stabilizer made me manic according to my doctor because he thought contouring with blue eyeshadow was so weird. Your makeup look made him call you manic with me. It was because I was getting lots of ideas for merch. And it was, I was coming up with all these names and like trying to buy lots of stuff. And like, it was weird. I know that you like Prince, I asked. So have you heard the song? Ripo Go Does It By. It's a great song. It has a sweet beat. I'll check that out. How's the day going so far? Lady sweet, the day was kind of lame until now. The day is finally starting to pick up talking to you guys. Do you think they should legalize anesthesia for mental illness in the USA? They have it in Europe. No, I don't because then I'd get killed. And uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm not trying to die. Is that, How did they say that word? Anesthesia or something? Anesthesia? No, not anesthesia. When they euthanize people, is it euthan euthanasia? Euthanasia, yeah. That would kill me, cause I'm not, I'm not the ideal. No, I've never met you, but part of me kind of misses you. Oh, sorry, Liam. More videos will be coming soon. If you guys want me to have like an upload schedule, let me know. I know I'm gonna have to make a vlog sometime in the next few days, cause my birthday is coming, and that means I'm gonna be doing stuff, eating at all. Do you have a routine? If so, what is it? I'm looking for advice to get into a routine. I don't really have a routine besides waking up, taking my meds, taking a shower, and getting dressed, and studying, because I wasn't supposed to tell you guys. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to tell anybody, because I don't want to get any satisfaction from bringing it up, but yeah, studying, because I need, I'm going to complete my GED in a few days. So that's, that's really all my routine is, and I just do that all day. Are there any religious fanatics in your comments nowadays? One time I had a rough talk with one of them, lol. Well, Chin Chu, I wouldn't call them fanatics. Like, I've gotten religious fanatics. But now I just get people saying either, like, I'll, I'm praying for you, you know, and I hope you're okay, or you should find Christ or whatever, but I don't count that as like fanatic they're just they think that that's what's best and they're they're doing it out of love and like caring for me you know even if it's misguided but i wouldn't call it like fanatics where they're like jesus will save you oh i do get those sometimes on my uh my schizophrenia my story video i still get those i get a lot of comments because that video is more popular. It's like almost a, a, hun a hundred, almost a million views. What do you study in math? Oh, well, I'm doing geometry right now, Terrace. Um, just got out of algebra. Oh my God, are you completing a GED? I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Roxas. I should have done it years ago, but I kept putting it off because I really didn't want to do it because I'm dumb. Have you ever heard of Daniel Johnson or any other outsider artists? Outside of musicians on the schizo spectrum. No, but I'll have to look that up. Daniel Johnson, Daniel Johnson, Daniel Johnson, Daniel Johnson, Daniel Johnson. Okay. I just wrote it in my mind. Daniel Johnson. What the fuck? You skipped my comment. What was your comment, Marco? I wasn't doing it on purpose. You're not the only person commenting. Do I know Marco Lazordo? 
Uh, no, I don't. A new YouTuber made a video called Schizophrenia Early Warning Signs. He's a teenager from Ireland and he's the newest schizophrenic YouTuber. I'll definitely check it, check it out. I'll just Google schizophrenia and see who's still talking about it these days. Because I'd love to meet some of them or talk to them or collaborate with them. Like, this community, it's a great community, but it's not like the beauty community. It's not like there's a whole lot of us. And a whole lot of people using the internet to talk about their mental illness like they people talk about other things like I don't know the sims <laughs> so I, I have wanted to collaborate with people but I'm not sure who ideally it'd be like Sarah Kay she's really cool dropped out of school this semester I was pretending to go to class and faking it for no reason a little what the fuck I'm taking this year off to pay off my debt and get stable before continuing with nursing. Well, Michelle, I can tell you're a great person because you want to go into nursing and nurses rule. You got this. What time are you really, are you ready for me to come over? <laughs> what? Do you have like food? <laughs> I don't know, you're coming over. <laughs> I don't care about food. I was just going to say alcohol, but I stopped myself. <laughs> food sounded more relatable. Okay, bye. Going to the store. Okay, bye. Have fun at the store. But like, I'm going to take a shower. Okay, have a nice shower. <laughs> you wash your hair. I'm curious because, yeah, yeah, I do wash it. I wash it, not all the time, but like once a week. Hey, Ziza, mm -hmm. could you go to um, the garage? What food do you want me to get? I can get you anything. Quick, what food should I get? Do you have vegan pizza? Because if you have vegan pizza, you really do have anything, Foster. Bring me vegan pizza. That's what I That's what I want to get on my birthday. My birthday's on the 26th. And I think I'm... Um, got any gum, Ro <laughs> Roxas says. No, I don't have any gum. I used to have gum because that was an easy way to make friends back in high school. I'd just be like, pull out gum. Everybody wants to talk to you all of a sudden. But, uh... Do you think you could go to the garage and in the fridge that has, um, they're like popsicles and one's cookies and cream and one's an orange cream bar. Could you bring me the cookies and cream one? Mm -hmm. Show us your buttocks. Can't you just Google Maya Imani Imani nudes? Like it's, 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 it's there. Marco, what the heck? You're too lazy to Google something. I'm not about to get up and show you my butt when I'm still on a diet. I want you guys to freak, am I a Scorpio? No, I'm a Sagittarius. Not that I believe in any of that stuff. Ah, starting to get tired. I have autism, sorry, Foster, I have people on the autism spectrum in my family but I don't I don't know what it's like exactly to have autism he's joking who's joking he has down syndrome well I don't know what that's like either what are you planning to do after getting your GED are you interested in college yeah I want to go to college but I'm I'm not sure what I want to do. Do you have any Dolls Kill or Kill Star outfits? I have clothes that they technically sell on Dolls Kill. I've never actually ordered from Dolls Kill, but I I have some of the stuff that they sell. Like cuz they have lots of brands at Dolls Kill. Have you ever had any good platonic female friends? If so, did you join their relationships? Do you want any? Um, no. Maybe when I was a little kid, if that counts. But not in my adult life. I haven't. Um, 
Yeah, so I did. I, I'm open to it. I kind of have one friend, my friend Allie. She appeared in a vlog a long time ago, but I don't really talk to her anymore. Okay, I think I'm gonna like uh, wrap it up for now. It's, it says it's been 81 minutes. When did you talk to Brady? I miss that guy. I miss him too. He's in New York. And I'm not about to tell him not to go to New York. He went to New York for his modeling and acting career. And he's in a, like a model house. And whenever, when he says that, I just think of America's Next Top Model. Oh, think of v -Files. Oh, oh, yeah, or V-Files. But yeah, he's in an actual modeling like house. And like that's what he's doing. And he's going to auditions all the time and stuff. I'm not about to be like, hey, I miss you. Come back to Maryland. <laughs> like and he was born in Maryland. This like he's lived here all his life. It's not like us, like we've traveled the world. So yeah, so he finally goes to New York. I'm not about to be like come back. <laughs> Cause I want what's best for him, even if it means I'm not gonna get to see him. But uh maybe I'll get to see him soon enough if I can save up some money to go visit him in New York. I, I don't he doesn't need to come here. It's so weird when you Because everybody knows that you don't get paid that much in your model. <laughs> Unless you're like Tyra Banks. I stay here for the comments, lol. That's how I'm with Amberlynn's videos. I'm gonna like take a... Yeah, later. Seeing Nice seeing you in the stream. More videos soon, please. Don't worry, Jaya. Or is it Jaya? Because my name is Maya and it's spelled kind of like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have a snack, Jeffrey. And I'm gonna do it for you, Okay. Um, I will be doing another live stream soon because it's going to be my birthday and I'm going to just be like, because what else am I going to do on my birthday? I'll just be on the internet. <laughs> I'll like maybe get a cake or something. But uh, yeah, I'll do because I'll, I'll do a live stream um, on my birthday. So um, I'll be back. My birthday is on November 26th. Okay. So... My birthday's always close to Thanksgiving. I hope it doesn't get lost in the <laughs> shuffle like it always does. We just have a dozen celebrations in one day. <laughs> this Thanksgiving, we're having a cake. How much money do you get paid per modeling event? <laughs> probably not much, but that's because I'm like ugly. He probably gets like he's model. He's modeled in Milan, like Fashion Week, that kind of stuff. When I model, it's just like with other photographers, because <laughs> I photograph things, and I'm like. You think you could photograph me? I have an Instagram. <laughs> so, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't get paid that much. Okay. Y'all are getting feisty because I'm about, I said I'm about to leave, but like, I, I need to. So. I will see you guys probably around my birthday. Unless I make another video. Well, no, I don't have to because I was talking about being irrational. Or maybe I'll do a, a full video because I didn't talk about all the things. You'd pay to photograph me, Aaron. Thank you. But probably not as much as you'd pay a real model. What will you do from now until your birthday? Well, I'm going to go to therapy. I'm going to see my psychiatrist. Probably get back on my medication and study a lot. Have a good night. It's going to be a great night because you wished me a good night, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's Jeffrey, right? Love the calming blue light. Maybe I'll bring it back next time. Maybe I'll bring it back on my birthday. Or I'll make it my regular light with like a hint of blue. Good night, Jaya. If that's how you say your name.